Okay, hello guys, I'm back again. This time we're gonna talk about battling war. Uh, it's an important part of the game, so uh, we can't miss it. Um, one important thing before going to battle is to check if you have everything in order. The first thing is to check if you have the right gear on for work. So that you're not in uh, construction gear or gathering gear um it sounds perfectly logical but it wouldn't be the first time that somebody got killed because of that second of course is also in your council if you have the right heroes and then um see if you want to put some extra buffs on. so the first ones are the logical ones with your items you have the one that boosts damage um defense or your uh, march boost uh, also the anti scot is very helpful of course uh, and then if you want you can also put the extra accolades on that you find in the labyrinth so these give you army damage cavalry damage infantry and bowman damage so it doesn't seem like much but because it's damage stats it's more effective than just uh, damage uh, just uh, your normal attack stats and very important the last thing that you can't forget before going out is get the dragon idol or another uh, relic um this will give you you just go to the store you buy the dragon idol here it's uh, 3.5k gold but it's not so much for what it does so it actually gives you your dragon benefits even if your dragon is out um, players will also always try to get a lot of kills without losses and if they see that your dragon is out and you don't have idle they will be very tempted to hit you and get some easy kills because it's a big difference or you can get the blade which is slightly more expensive but also gives you some extra stats um, but it has the same effect also for the battle itself um, if you have an incoming march um, and for instance you, it's in raid from gold event you uh, can shield that's the easiest way of course to be safe is to put a shield but if you have uh, your countdown on um, and you can't pop the shield the quickest way is just to click the map and teleport it's the fastest way it's 2k gold or an advanced teleport so it's not cheap but it gets you out of trouble very fast even if you have troops out battling or in this case gathering and then you can always it pulls your troops so then you can always uh, use a random teleport to get away from trouble or see who is attacking you and maybe if you can handle them you can still stay But it's much better than just taking the hits and getting killed. Obviously. Um, another thing to keep in mind if you are doing rallies, uh, whether it's in raid or in uh, KVK, is to arrange a critical hit formation where you use a maximum of uh, six troop types and make sure that everyone in your alliance uses the same troops. Uh, if one person sends the wrong march, it can uh, do a lot of damage for everyone that is joining the mega rally. And now that we're talking mega rallies, um, another thing that is really useful is when you join the mega rally to put on the warmonger gear. because you get the stats from the leader of the mega rally and in warmonger sets the boots and the ring they give you wounded conversion which will mean that you will get less kills and more wounded so you can recover uh, troops more quickly okay that's it for this episode just a couple short but very important tips so uh, keep this in mind when you are at war or you go 
to rate or in case. See you next time.